Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates the essential skills, tips, tricks and techniques that you will require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration, you will see a strategy for implementing global buttons. My name is Frank Nymphius and I'm from the Oracle JDeveloper and ADF Product Management Team. The requirement that we have in this session is to implement a global button strategy that allows us to put command buttons or menu items onto a page level or on a view level and to execute page specific logic or a global logic. Before going into details, so let's see what Oracle has in store for building reusable components in ADF faces. So one is the page template that allows me to predefine layouts that I then reuse on different pages. The other option is to use an ADF region which provides me with the ability to create reusable interactive areas on a page which typically is used in combination with bounded task flows so that instantly I can process on a page a specific business task without leaving that page. ADF regions are typically using page fragments. Now a page fragment is a incomplete Java server faces page that must run within the context of another Java server faces page and that more or less injects or includes the content it contains to the overall page. And then we do have a declarative component. A declarative component allows me to use existing ADF faces components and build my own composite component out of that. I have the option to build a tech library based declarative component which means I can create it and then deploy this component and reuse that component across applications or I can build a dynamic declarative component which can only be used in the project that it's defined in and this dynamic declarative component also uses page fragments. So from looking at the list of options I have for the use case we're after the two strategies that seems to be most promising is to use a page template or to build a declarative component just to handle the use case of having a global uh, button bar on the page or on the view. So let's have a look at page templates. A page template that you define can have any kind of idea faces component in it and then when you build new pages based on the template then these components will show on that page that consumes the template. In addition a template can have an ADF binding file which is the page definition file. So I can use this page definition file to define common tasks like commits, rollback or even methods that are exposed on a general level. Because the bindings object that we use within ADF in expression language is always available, I can use the bindings reference from a command action item like a button or a menu item to access the binding layer. The challenges though are that page template don't support a method attribute like declarative components do. So I cannot configure on the page template level an action event that then would publish the button press event to some managed bean in the consuming application. To solve that problem we work with a managed bean. So a managed bean can be created in the context of a template and then deployed with a template. So the template or the buttons on the template will always talk to that managed bean and this managed bean works like a dispatcher between the event that occurs in the template and the functionality that should be called in the application. And for this we define an attribute on the template that the template consumer, the application developer, points a managed bean to so that we have access to a managed bean that exists in the consuming application. The template and the managed bean that is used by the template to dispatch the template calls to the managed bean in the application module on the application will be deployed in an ADF library. Along with the ADF library we deploy whatever Java surfaces configuration file you decided to use, the faces config file or the ADF C config file to hold the managed bean definition that is used by the template. Once this is deployed to an application or consumed through the resource palette, the configuration of that managed bean becomes available in the consuming application which means that now we can dispatch between the template and the application. So this is the theory. So let's see how to implement that. So 
So here is the little template that I pre-created. And as you can see, this template not only has a visual representation of a page that has different facets for the developer consuming the template to put ADA Faces components into, it also comes with two Java classes. One Java class is an interface. It's called the Create Insert Cancel Help Template Interface. And this interface, Java class, is deployed with a page template as I'm deploying the page template in an ADF library. This interface thus becomes available to the application developers to implement it within their managed bean so that they can create a managed bean that for sure has a method to, to create, insert, cancel, delete and help, whatever that means in the context of that page. And then there is another bean which implements the interface and this managed bean is in backing bean scope as we will see later and it also has methods for create, insert, cancel and delete. And every button that I have in my template is referenced to one of these methods. So the create button references the create method and passes in the action event when you press the button. It calls get bean to get access to the application managed bean that implemented the interface. And then it just calls bean create in this case to pass on the create notification to the application bean. When we look at the get bean, what the method actually does is, the method actually looks for an expression language string, which is ATTRS, like attribute. It's an attribute defined on the template. And the attribute on the template is named toolbar commands bean. This shows when I consume the template in an application as a property on the template. And I can pass in a reference to a managed bean that implements the Java interface that I introduced. So when I go to my page template again, you see that I have an attribute defined here, it's set to required, and the ITTRS variable name is defined in here. And this is all that it takes. So the next step is to create an ADF library just create a deployment profile for an ADF library and deploy the application as an ADF library so that the template, the managed bean definition and the interface class are wrapped up in a jar file and then I can consume it using the resource palette. So let's have a look how you would work with a template in a production environment. So this is my consuming application, which I just called Template Tester. Using the resource palette, new connection file system, I imported the ADF library, which contains the template. I select the templates and choose Add to Project. Now this now configures the whole content of that library for my project. So now I'm having the page definition file in it, I do have the ADFC config file in it and the managed bean that belongs to the template plus it has the interface imported. So the next step for me is to create a managed bean. So new a Java class. Let's call this page managed bean. And this should implement the, the t interface that we defined on the page template. Remember this very long Germanish name of an interface that I defined in the template. All right. So and you see my managed bean now conforms very well to the, um, to the requirement that the template has. So if I want to, just for the purpose of showcasing how it works. You pressed create. Just printing a method when I press the create button. You can imagine how you hook up these methods to the page specific bindings or method activities that you want to have executed when someone presses a global button. So next step is I need to configure my page managed bean 
to become a managed bean so I can reuse this so I go to my overview tab managed beans give it a name first press the plus sign here just stick with the same name here look up the class that I created and leave it in request scope so that's fine so these are the prerequisites so now I configured a managed bean made it available so now I can create a page you Java server faces page and here could be a fragment as well and call this my main page or template consumer my template consumer and when I select in here you see that my template already is available in this project and this is because it's part of the ADF library so I choose that you see the different areas and you see the command button bar here there's an error indicator and this is because my template requires a mandatory attribute that I haven't provided yet so it's not valid right now as it is so I wouldn't be able to run it and the reason for that is that I haven't yet provided the reference to the toolbar commands bean. Remember this property when I showed you the template? This expects a reference to the managed bean that implements the interface that is assumed by the template. So in my case, the managed bean that I created is the page managed bean, which actually now means that when I run the page, then whenever I press a button here in the toolbar it will call its own template managed bean which is the dispatcher and this dispatcher looks up the toolbar commands bean attribute that belongs to the template to get access to a managed bean with implemented Java interface and then it calls create insert cancel or delete or whatever you come up with on that bean so let's have a look how this works at runtime So this is the runtime view of the page template and since I haven't added any additional UI component onto the page all that we see is the command bar that belongs to the template. If like in this case the command bar is not supposed to perform navigation but just operations you want to make sure that the partial submit property of the command items is set to true so you're not refreshing the page when you press on the button. Have a look at the log output on JDeveloper because when I move to my create button then by pressing that button the template will call its managed bean and that managed bean will then call the configured managed bean in the application and as a result it pressed or prints the statement out that I pressed create. You can imagine how flexible this strategy is because it really allows it to create templates and as part of the template deploy an interface and a dispatcher managed bean that allows then the consumer of the template to just provide the functionality that you want it to execute when one of the template buttons is pressed. An alternative strategy to using page template that I just showed in this session is to use declarative components because an area like a toolbar on a page that performs specific operations can also be expressed as a declarative component and this declarative component because it supports method attributes can directly publish the command action of a pressed button to the consuming application. One example that showcases the use of an alternative strategy by the use case of using a declarative component is published on ADF Code Corner as sample 24 the link to ADF Code Corner is what you see here, otherwise just try Google, Google for ADF Code Corner, it will point you to the page, scroll down and get a PDF document that explains how to use the declarative component approach for the same use case that I showed with the page template. Alright, so in summary there are two strategies that you can use to implement global buttons. 
uh, depends on the use case that you want to go with and the complexity of what the buttons are supposed to perform. You can use declarative components or a template. Templates can use a direct expression language access for commands that don't change between pages. That could be like the bindings reference. If you always use the bindings reference to rule back or commit data, then you can have a direct expression language pointing to the bindings object. Or if it needs to be more dynamic, if it needs to be in the context of the view or page that the template is used with, you use a managed bean approach as I showed in the session where you have a bean in the template and an interface definition defined and then using the page template attribute you point it using expression language to a managed bean that implements the interface so that the button action on the template can be translated to a managed bean activity. But also consider using ADFA's declarative components. If you want to learn more about Oracle JDeveloper and ADF, just go to oracle.com technology JDEV. There are a couple of downloads that we provide you with the software samples. We provide tutorials, access to discussion forums, but also to developer guides that we've written and a lot of useful developer information, blogs, and ADF Code Corner is listed there, and Steve Munch's web page is listed there. So you get to a wealth of information about JDevelop and ADF. Check it out.